This is a video about 2017 and how it was the best year of my life. It was also the year I decided to start making YouTube videos. But, to put this all in context, I've got to tell you about 2016, which also happened to be the worst year of my life. In January 2016, to welcome the new year in, my startup failed. My startup called Moon. Now, in hindsight, I can see that it probably wasn't the best idea, but at the time, when you've put in so much money, over a year of your time, when it fails, it really, really, really sucks. It was the absolute worst way to begin the year, and after that, I had absolutely no idea what to do, but I needed to get a job to pay the bills. So, I took a job as a humble mailman. It was a really tough job. You'd work six days a week, starting at 6 a.m. But one advantage that it did have is that it gave me lots and lots of time to think. And while I was on the bicycle, I reviewed my startup process. And from it, I realized that the part that I really, really enjoyed was the actual making of products. So I made the decision to go study industrial design, but I also realized that I needed a way to promote myself. So I also made the decision to begin learning how to vlog. Finally, I had focus again. I applied for uni and got in. Congratulations. We are pleased to tell you your application to study at AUT has been successful. Ah. Enter 2017, the best year of my life thus far. In February, I began uni. And I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified to begin filming. I had no idea what people were gonna think of me. But everything started to work out. Industrial design was amazing. I began making weekly videos about all the projects I was working on. Now, it was tough going at first because I had a really small subscriber base and the only people who were really watching my videos were my family and friends. But it also turned out that the management of my university were also watching the videos and they offered to pay me if they could use my videos in their online marketing. I agreed and scored myself the coolest part-time job as the vlogger. And my subscribers began to grow. So, as well as making videos for my own projects, I also got the opportunity to see and film AUT from a completely different angle. I met and interviewed some incredible people, and at the end of the year, I had a greater appreciation for tertiary education. Oh yeah, and of course product design, because that after all is what I studied, and it was amazing. So there you go, two years of my life in two minutes. Mm. Now the funny thing is, if you had asked me about studying at university back in 2015 when I was working on my startup, I would have said no, it was a complete waste of money. You can do all that learning by yourself. Now that is true, but learning by yourself is really, really hard, as proven by the failure of my startup. So what I think university did for me is it gave me this platform, this environment where everything that I needed to succeed is available. It's kind of like this. Self-guided learning is like this. Imagine if I asked you to fix a car with your average set of tools. Possible, but very, very tricky. But on the other hand, what university is like is it's kind of like fixing that same car in a full-fledged automotive workshop with all the experts standing by ready to help. So when it comes to studying at universities, I've had a big change around and I am totally for it. I mean, my adventure began at AUT. And I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but in 2018, if you apply, yours can do. And yeah, so that's about it. So adios.